I'm live. Man, I know I keep saying it at the start of the stream. I just can't get used to that update. I just can't get used to it. Let me refresh this bad boy. There I am. Did I close all those tabs? Yes, I did. Let me open that up. So, look at poor Monroe at the bottom. Poor Monroe and DeWolf who keeps trying to be like, Yo, Panther really wants me. I, I still can't believe he keeps uh, just saying over and over again in interviews. He's like, yeah, dude, Panther keeps talking to me. And I'm like, we haven't even scouted you. Like, we, we, we don't give a shit about you one bit. Lori looks like an American. I'm not going to lie. You look have a broken, a, a messed up neck like, uh, like Chapman, or like Surkov does. Chapman used to, I think, in this save. I believe? But yeah, no, Chapman definitely went to a worse team. Um, let me look at the standings, actually, of Chapman's team. Yeah, they're in fourth with zero wins right now. I mean, they're close to third, but third isn't close to us at all. So... It is, a, I think, a far more spread out season, though. Um, maybe not by much. But we're way more competitive than we were last year, so. Um, yeah, no, we do want Surikov to do a lot better than Holtz, hopefully. And Holtz is behind Surikov by three positions. Wow. Um, definitely we'll be able to get that up. We're starting... What are we starting on? Alright, qualifying had the wets. Qualifying had the wets. How are we doing, Spence? Hope you're doing well. I think we're just ready to start. No rain, I think. Starting on those super softs. I don't remember what we did with the 15%. I think we did the super softs, though. Ooh, Sharp with an insane start compared to everyone else. Just chilling. Just chilling. I feel that. Sharp already almost two seconds ahead. That is a great start to things. Surikov currently battling with a lot of people, but maintaining fourth. Oh my god. Oh my god. Wexler will catch up to us in these straightaways, but in these corners, we are destroying everyone. I almost want to... Let's push with you instead. It might cost you a position, but it means we can pit a lap. Actually, you know what? I kind of want Sharp to be the one that pits first. Or pit second, I mean. Um, almost a three second gap now, though. Like, that's insane. We're only on the second lap. Again, these straightaways are where they get us. Let's not push too much. Or, or attack too much. We got a good lead now. We can we can chill with the tires a tiny bit for sharp. Surikov dropped behind Holtz. It's not what we want. That is not what we want. Okay, they're starting to peel off. Actually, we'll stay on overtake for a little bit. See if we can get past people. Hopefully, we can put the moves on people here. I do want to keep that lead going, though. Uh, I kind of want to pit with Surikov next lap. But I think I gotta... 
do it right now so that I can do it with Sharp next lap. So Sharp can keep... I'm going to sacrifice Surikov's position a little bit to keep Sharp... Let's actually attack and overtake. It should all even out later on to the field. Later on to the race. Mistake on fucking refuel, of course. Alec, you gotta be quicker with that. Sharp is being sharp right now. With a 3.6 difference from first to second. However, I don't think they're pitting this lap. They're not. My tire wear was way worse, because they actually went to back up. Which is kind of crazy to me, but... They don't need to pit. No one will. We are going to end up behind here. Ooh, in front of there. Good. We got Surikov's tires warm. Sharp should be able to move up through the field here immediately, yeah. Not only do we have better tires than most of these people, we just have a better car, flat out, and a better driver. So, even before all these guys enter pit lane, we're going to make some moves. We're going to get up, get up some time. Everyone's entering pit lane now. We should make it up. Although they're leaving now. Okay, these guys actually all didn't pit. So we are going to go down now. We don't need to attack. We need to actually kind of conserve. We only can afford to pit one more time. My racing strategies have definitely been better. Spencer, are you one of the interviews that I have to agree to? Holtz and Surikov are fighting right now. Surikov's wear is much worse. I'm assuming these guys are going to not pit again. That's their strategy, but I'm not positive. Sharp right back into first. Now we are going to go into overtake and attack. Overtake and attack. Actually, no, we're not for you. We're going to go... We're not going to. We're going to... Hopefully, Gonzalez slows them all down. We have a five-second gap. We can afford to conserve right now. I know you... I, I probably should find a better spot for my webcam. Honestly, probably should put it, like, maybe right above Surikov's stuff. Although, that would cover all the strategy stuff. Okay, we now need to push. Actually, no. We can go... We can go a little on conserve, even. Definitely pitting. It's arguable I should go on the hards. Mm, I might cancel this, depending on how this goes. conserve the tires as much as possible. Fisher crashed. So basically there was a crash. The safety car keeps the pace low so there's no more accidents and they can clean up any debris that may be on the track. Well, time's for this because it's really slow. It's going to be for a whole lap. I'm assuming everyone's going to be doing it. And if not, that's kind of wild. Oh, they're not... Refueling made a mistake. That's insane. We lost a few spots, but if I do neutral the entire less or conserve the entire rest of the race, yeah, it counts. It counts as an actual lap. You can see down here that we were at nine. But we will catch up to everyone, so everyone's pace will be right with each other here. 
It is super important, though, that I, at the right time, power up my car. So we have to wait till it goes to the garage, which I think is the pit lane. It's insane, but we're going to wait. equals 18 safety laps. You are right. And means there's only two drivers left. So we're not heating your tires up sharp. Shut the fuck up. You can't do anything about it. Guys, are you idiots? You have a safety car to deal with. God, they're all idiots. As soon as I see that all flip though, I'm going to hit the pause button because they're all going to flip it once to overtake an attack. And we don't want to lose any of that time. Woodford's form is at a 10 right now, Jesus Christ. They're asking to heat their tires up, which would mean being aggressive driving. Okay, I don't think the crowd should really be cheering right now. Un unless Fisher just got out his car. Or her car, I don't know. Safety car's in. I think we have to wait till we pass. Here we go. Okay, we can actually make this fuel last the rest of the race, and I think I'm going to try. Lipidin's on the mediums and shouldn't be getting space for long. Sharp is not doing great right now. We're playing the long race, though. If we're playing the long race, though, we do need to back up on our tires. And go low. Everyone else has to pit again. On the super softs, at least. I'm honestly not that concerned right now. I am concerned that Holtz isn't going to pit at, at all. But too much of a lead. Or too much, or not enough of a lead, I mean. They might hate Fisher, who knows. Although, Schmidt is having a mechanical problem, is still pushing sharp. But you did see a couple people pit there. Surkov, you have to defend that wall in the lower engine mode. I'm sorry. Sharp has excess fuel now. That's what we want to see, so let's get that. We could probably get that here, too. Let's wait a little bit, though, until it actually says excess fuel. There we go. Get into the higher engine mode. We're going to go on to conserve, though. And we're going to hopefully be able to stay ahead of Chapman. Um, because our car is just better. See, Holtz got fucked by taking that. Hopefully, Holt, for Holtz's sake, Holtz better be... She better be passing a lot of people. I think she can afford to attack for the rest of the race, though. Everyone else is starting to conserve, so we can make our moves again. How many? Who's pitting? Okay. Second, first and second right now. I would love this. 
Okay, we still actually need to conserve with our tires. Um, luckily, the people behind us are on backup. And we have more tire wear than Chapman and Gonzalez. Holtz has already come back up to fifth because of all the pitting. But that is nine seconds behind us with two laps to go. They all had to. Their tire wear was down to nothing. They would have uh, gotten in like the last six places because once it hits zero, you go nothing. And they probably were too much on fuel, if I'm being honest. Oh my god, the people behind us are pitting. We got first and second. Holy shit. Holy shit. Once we get to that last lap, I'm going to be attacking the whole time with both of them. Because we don't have enough tire wear left for the whole last lap to not have negative side effects towards the end. And I'm not risking it with Holtz behind us gaining on us with so much more tire wear. So we are going into attack. Hi. We are going to be keeping this. Actually, we're going to keep the engine just so we don't lose fuel. Oh my god. <sighs> the early pits worked out for us a lot. Actually, Fisher's crash is the reason we got first and second, and that's so fucked up. See, look, now we're in the red for the tires, so... This is where Holtz, who has great tire wear still, can... Should, technically, Holtz should be attacking. Holtz has a chance to get second if they attack that whole last lap, and she just didn't do it. Really good job by us, man. Not to toot my own horn, but... I would have liked Surikov to get the win because he doesn't have a win yet, but... Not, not everyone... Not, a lot of people didn't, actually. The people right behind us... Like, a bunch of these people didn't pit. And then they had to take their second pit recently. And we didn't. We made that last the whole race. The whole rest of the race. That's what made us one. It's the fact that I also, in the offseason, focused so much on tire wear for our chassis. Is also why we won. Look at that for the points. Sharp one point ahead of Lavoie. One point ahead of Holtz for Surikov. Holy shit. So it's 205 and 206 for Sharp and Lavoie. We are three points ahead. 373 versus 371. Actually, we're two points ahead. Sorry, math. Oh my god. What a result. What a result, man. They have to be going nuts today, man. They have to be. Look at that, man. You guys rock. Any chance to follow back? No, Colby. We do not do follow backs around here. Surkov and Holtz. Yes, yes. Oh, that's not. That's for qualifying. Yeah, the rivalry. It's just about the rivalry between us and Steinman, really, because that's all this season has been is us and Steinman. With the occasional uh, Scudiera. Scudieria? I don't remember how to pronounce it. Oh my god. And Surikov got that with the fitness being down to 6 because of his neck. God. Our marketability should have gone up by like 1.5 there for getting 1st and 2nd. Yeah, we're losing a lot more money now. So, we're losing money each race if we don't win our sponsor thing. Um, because I hired on a reserve driver last time, and we pay her half a million a race. Oh, wait, we're still making income each race? I don't think that's... How's our pit crew looking? Not great. Ooh, ooh, you're at zero? Did people leave again? We're going to remove Fatigued. Oh, that automatically does the best we can do. Um, We're going to... Hire you. No, we're done hiring for right now. 
Channel 6, how you doing, baby? A 1, 2. Oh, my God. It's all down to the drivers. Hmm. Well, the drivers for morale is already at 100, so let's go... Oh, Chairman is already at 100, too. I should have done drivers. I regret it. I'm sorry, team. I'm sorry, team. We're up to third with our engine. Oh, I think we were already, honestly. Um... But yeah, no, we are... With that tire wear, we're almost at five stars. I, this is what won us that race. Genuinely. Repair is complete. You love to see it. So how's this looking? Right? We're completely fine on that. Um, we haven't upgraded our front wings at all. Probably because the first one's a not great upgrade, but... I don't know why you'd go for reliability when reliability is just so easy to get up after you build it. Like, going just for the base performance, I feel like, is just the best strategy. Like, this one's just going to be the best. This one, if we could get rid of the risk level already, would be the best, obviously, but... <coughs> Let's go for it. Only been 20 minutes? Oh, right. The sponsor's gone. Uh, just an upfront payment? I hate that. I hate that. Not scouting anyone. Let's go down a bit. We'll start scouting random people. It's gonna rain for qualifying. Low speed corners and acceleration are crucial. Luckily, second, first, and then third for the not as crucial bit. Um, so that's gonna be done in seven days. Good. Oh, wide slick tires. New vote. Um, the highest speed tires possible, allowing teams to maximize their performance. These tires are the most expensive routes and will cost teams thirty thousand per race. Um, I mean, sure, faster. This rule benefit teams with high budget and not with low budgets, though. Mm, I get that, but we're a high budget team, so. You have to pass. Alright, cool. We're going to have new tires next season. I think there's a there's two new tires next season. Well, we got a new tire company, I believe, designing the tires. One of the best cars on the grid when it comes to tire wear. All the other drivers are jealous. It's so damn good during the race weekends. Not having to worry so much about how aggressively I can drive is a godsend. I know, right, dude? Alright, let's improve. Four days after the race. I mean, it's still an improvement. So we're going to fit it to... Who should we fit it to? Sharp. All right, hold on. Fine, we'll, we'll fucking improve it first. Fine. Oh, it's not going to be nearly enough. Oh, wait. It's already at 80? Are you kidding me? Why are you all of a sudden not content? How are you? God damn it, Sharp. Because he needs the better brakes. God damn, y'all are so annoying. Um, obviously risk level minus one, plus two reliability for each day in production. 50 to high speed corners. And red zone minus 10%. This one's going to be so nice when we finally, like, three season down the line can use legendary stuff. Um, yeah, this one's going to be really good. Let's get that there. 
the the better I I mean I probably should build a medium speed corner part first, but right now we are looking nice in the standings. Um Why well, Singapore did we get minus two? Hmm. I'm not sure. Dodgy neck is only one more week, so that is only one more. That's not even one more race. That's just this race. Um, we're gonna go for the tenth or, or the ninth or above sponsor. It's probably best to go for this one, but you know we're gonna go for it. We're gonna do the risk. You know what? Let's go one less here, and we'll go one more here. No, wait. There we go. Listen, you'll be more content next time, okay? We're making money, I guess. I thought we'd be losing a hundred and some thousand right now, because I thought that thing would have updated. Maybe we will lose that much after this race if we don't get second or better, but... Um, hopefully we can gimme qualifying and make it in our favor with the rain, like some other races, where we get pole position and no one has even a close enough time after the first one, because we're the only ones who get a super soft run, and everyone else didn't get a full one, because we're the only ones who get out immediately. We're going to put Claire in. Again, I don't know why Claire can't fill in for Surikov. It really weirds me out, but... I'm assuming a bit more downforce. I'm going to guess more handling that way. I'm going to guess more top speed. And we're going to go on the super softs. Ooh, actually, it's looking like acceleration will be going down. So maybe let me put it down here. He is in the cone of shame. Poor dude. Dodgy neck only for one more... This one race. Of course, we're going to take practice. What am I... Not a practice taker? I'm sending out Tally because I want her to feel involved. And I wonder if it helps actually improve her stats. That's my only guess. Oh, wait. It's already raining. What am I doing? I definitely need to bring them the fuck in. Wait, oh, oh, I fucked up. At least we... I, I fucking nailed it with the fucking steering. The thing is, is we don't get the fucking... I, could, I, I think I can keep them out on it if we keep them on backup and low. Probably a little bit higher there. Downforce, probably higher, let's be honest. Let's get that back down. Maybe we can do that. Do a bit of that. Downforce is poor. Yeah, downforce needs to be more. And we nailed that. Cool. Let's try that. We're going on back up and low. Back up and low. Don't crash. That's the goal of today. You can tell how much slower soft tires are going up with the wet track, though. I'm just, we can see the rain is going to stop in a couple minutes. It's time for it. I just don't want to waste time. I was told it wasn't going to rain for this. Y'all are liars. Slow down, Tally. And Surikov, goddamn. See, look, we've hit, we're hitting the peak of the rain now. It's fine. We're not the only ones staying out on softs either. Super softs, medium softs. We're not crazy. 
You're crazy. Handling isn't working as well now. Damn, sorry, Tally. This rebalance is feeling much worse now. Great. Sorry, guys. See, look, the rain's done. We're done. I'm not crazy. Come on, can we start, can the track stop being so wet now? Can we start getting the knowledge back? I was indeed crazy once. Okay, we probably need to pull it back with the downforce a bit. Maybe not. Try that. We're going to stick to the same tires on qualifying. This is going to be a hard track to get the setup right for. Okay, so that was the wrong way. There we go. I think that's going up like normal now. I hope. Oh, it's going to rain again. I need to get super soft knowledge to level 3 with these tires. That's the thing. Get as much as you can out of them. Get the whole next level. I wish I could tell them to stay out one more lap while they were out there. I literally don't think we will be able to get the super softs to level three. Oh, great, excellent, excellent. Okay. Good versus okay and okay. So we need somewhere in the middle. Like here. And then with that and that and that. Ooh, wait, plus that. Minus that. We're going to need intermediates for you. We're, we're going to give you intermediates. Surikov can hopefully, while doing this for the rest, can... I don't know. Hopefully we can get level 3 with Surikov. I'm literally just hoping so we can at least just have the 15% for the race and qualifying. Yeah, 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 you got worn tires. I don't give a shit, bro. With the two minutes left, I don't know if he's getting it. He gets one more lap. Actually, maybe not. No, he doesn't. Fuck! And we only got race trim level two. Oh, wait. God damn it. That's so annoying, man. And now it's not gonna even rain for 
Oh, it is going to rain for qualifying. So. It's going to rain about two, three minutes in. I will fucking take it. And I will definitely take that. Literally, get the fuck out there before it rains. I need this one to be the best possible. I hope the rain comes like a uh, half a minute later than expected, but actually, no, I hope the rain literally only gives us enough time for a full lap with softs or even the third sector. We won't have if it rains on the third sector for us, I'd be happy or even in the middle of the second. Oh, it's very close to the rain. Yeah, it's raining now. Fuck. We didn't even get a lap out of it, man. There's still grip. So our first sector is going to be way better than everyone else's. So hopefully that's enough of a gap with the intermediates. Grip is rapidly dwindling. Yeah, I don't think anyone else is going to be able to get a real lap in. I don't think that was a great lap, but... Let's take a look through this first sector, see how the void does. 2.9 seconds behind. Yes. Okay. Yeah, Wexler is the next one to finish 2.8 back. Look at that. Rain just barely on time. Ah. <clears throat> Ooh, we need wets now. That's actually even better for us, I think. Let's give that a try. Go on the wets. Go on the wets. Because look at that, man. That is crazy. That's a lot of wet. No one's beating our time, though. Haha, <laughs> that's the advantage of getting out first. Immediately, without thinking about it. You have enough time to think about it before it starts. It's as simple as that. I think we're also going to be the first ones out with the wets. Is Fisher? Fisher's behind us. Fisher is down over here, about to go in this corner, right? Now. Let's see how our first lap is comparatively. Or our first sector is comparatively. It's probably going to be like two, three seconds behind. It's a lot slower, these tires. One point five or one point four. So yeah, literally no one's gonna beat our time at all. Everyone's gonna be five, six seconds back. We can literally just do this. Mm. 
Literally, everyone else is fighting with themselves because no one can beat our time. That's it. First and second. Hold on. Oh, oh, oh. Look at all the orange teams at the top here. Look at all them. Well, then again, these guys are all going right now. Let's take a look at Holtz. Chapman, actually. Let's watch Chapman. Chapman does have a much worse card than last season. Without being on the Steinman team. The thing is, is when you go on team select before you start the game, before you start a season, Steinman Motorsports talks about how there's a rivalry between the two drivers that is likely to come to a head. And, and a lot of the struggle you'll be dealing with with that game is dealing with the driver relationships and the mechanic relationships and all that stuff. Um, so it looks like in this save, Holtz won over against Chapman to be the main driver, and Chapman got the boot is probably what happened. Yeah, look, all the oranges moved down. <sighs> Lavoy, though, with a second behind our time with on wets, so that's nuts. Chapman is old. Look at that. I'm the only ones setting up best time on Super Softs. That's, that's, that tells a thousand words. P just came out. Damn, aside. Calm down. Yeah, we had a great strategy. We had a great strategy. The problem is, we don't have good stuff here. Losing the 5% is going to be a huge bummer. Okay, so this actually got worse. What if we went that way? Okay, that'll do. Hey, Alchemist, how you doing? I wasn't there for the Vinny stream. I don't know what happened to it. I don't think Vinny had the best day, so there might have been just something blowing over from there. I don't know. But, again, I wasn't there for any of it, so I have no clue. Um, we haven't talked about it, so. Driver strategy, of course, we're going to be on attack and overtake at the start. Oh, wait, I never noticed this. Sharp owns go-karting school. Uh, no, go a go-karting school. I thought Sharp was just participating. I never noticed that. How did I... Crazy. Crazy. Anyway, hopefully we can get a good enough jump like last race. But Alchemist, I hope you had a good day. Sharp and Surikov, get a nutty start compared to everyone else, please. Nope. Equal. Might have had to do with the Kira Toriyama. Immediately defending from Lavoy is not great, but luckily Surikov's form is insane today at an 8. How did Gonzalez shoot on up to 2nd? What the fuck? And he's not even on overtake. Our engine's faster than his. Yeah, dude, imagine going to a go-kart place. And you just go against an actual F1 driver who's been dominating the F1 season. Like, imagine going against the Red Bull drivers. I was talking to Mike about, like, go-karting and, ha like, the actual, like, way you go up into F1. And how, like, at the go-karting scene, there are F1 go-karts. Or, like, Red Bull-sponsored go-karts. Imagine pulling up to, like, your first ever go-karting tournament. You just see a bunch of, like, company-sponsored go-karts and you're just there with your own. It's just like, oh, damn. The fuck? Max Verstappen, literally. Fucking Lewis Hamilton. Okay, Sharp's starting to put the pace away from everyone else. Surikov is good at defending right now. 
I'm gonna keep out for Lavoie's strategy. Keep an eye out. Because they're the only one right now that we're worrying about. Wexler's starting to make moves to get up to Lavoie, but nothing yet. Only 11 laps to go. So technically we could... I think we should start getting out of these a little bit. Um, I mean, ideally I'd only like to pit once, but that's not going to happen at this point. Surikov might get past here. Let's get our fuel use down a little bit. Yeah, I know your tire temps are really high. Oh, fuck. I don't want to lose second from Surikov. I don't. I don't. I don't want to give that up, but now we're way behind Holtz. Or Lavoie, actually. We are going to go down on the engine. Next lap, I'm actually going to have Surikov um, pit. Might be early. Okay, I actually can't take off. I literally can't. The voice tires look so much better. Oh, okay, 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 okay. This is bad. I made a mistake. I should have hit with Surikov right then and there. Oh, this is a huge mistake. Oh, this is a huge mistake. God, why did I do it? I'm going to run out of fuel next lap. I literally have to pit now with this. Because the time loss is going to be nothing compared to the time loss from the fuel. This is so dumb. I'm times 12 in this because I'm embarrassed. Surikov's going to be mad, I know. Ignore. I made a mistake, okay? Actually, if we go not too hard, let's go push high for both of them right now to get their tire temp up. But if we can make that last the rest of the race, um, I don't think everyone else can for what they did. But maybe they can. Like, Lavoy can't, DeWolf can't, definitely. Those guys are going to have to pit. So, Sharp is going to be back up to second. Um, we just have to catch back up to Lavoy. I'm actually going to put Surikov into overtake and attack. Or medium and attack. We're going to put medium and attack. Or medium and high. Or attack and high. God, I can't speak. Hopefully, Surikov can start making some moves. Tire temp's looking good. Let's move it back a little bit so we can make these tires last the rest of the race. I expect Lavoie to do the same at some point. I know Wexler's pushing, but again, we're playing the long race here. We don't want to pit again. To the point where we should probably go on low. We need to make that last another, like, one and a half, two laps. Everyone else should pit again for fuel. We could probably go on conserve. Again, tire wear, king. Tire wear and fuel efficiency is king. I know Lavoie is putting time between us, but I want to get at least second. 
Soon enough, Wexler should stop attacking because your their tire wear is going to be through the roof and. Mm, I don't know. It's, it's a tough call right now. It's a tough call. I know we look really weird compared to the rest of the top of the grid, but. I wish we weren't in high that whole time. Come on, stop attacking, dude. I think he's going to do that once he passes us, probably. Oh, we got it back. Good job, Sharp. The question is, can we make this fuel last the rest of the race? I think it's close. Come on, Wexler. Stop attacking with your tires. Oh my god. Lippin and or Chapman's catching up. Okay, Lavoy's pitting. Oh my god. Yeah, I don't know if we can make this last. It is looking good for Surkov, but it's so questionable for Sharp. To the point where I don't I don't know if I can make that call right now. Chapman has to pit. Oh my god. The thing is, is Wexler has the same fuel as us, I think. Maybe a lap more. If Wexler has a lap more, it's not even questionable. Oh my god, we have to pit. I'm trying to get enough time between Surikov, and I think there already is. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Go, 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 go. Make no mistakes, no make no... Oh, we got ahead of him! I hope we can pass Lori, but I don't think we can pass Lavoy. Man. Oh, that's a bummer. Only third. We need second. We need second. Come on, pass Lavoy. Pass Lavoy. Lavoy's tires are fucked. Yes. And that guarantees us. Okay, we got second and sixth. Lori dropped down to damn eleventh. Twelfth! That's insane. <sighs> At least we got the sponsor. We got the sponsor objectives. So that's an extra 1.4 million. That was the real goal of this race. I think they are ahead of us in points again, or we're tied. Team-wise. Man, if only I had just not gone on high. If I had just gone on low straight from that pit, I don't think we need the pit again. We got first and second, probably, or first and third. 
Um, okay, Holt's got two more points versus... Yeah, they're a lot ahead of us, actually, now. Um, seven. With, what, two races left? How much are they paying Samuel Blanc? Oh, we don't know. That's a bummer. That race is a little bit of a bummer. Luckily, your neck won't be bad anymore. Cornering hit 20, though. That's great. We gained almost a million dollars. Yeah, see, now we're negative each race. This is going to be about pitting. I'm not answering that. Stop tanking my marketing with this question. God damn it. I'm not dignifying it with a fucking answer. <sighs> Car repairs are done. All right. Might as well... Well, we're going to wait to put the next piece in. Ooh. That's worth fixing. Engine reliability minus 50. Ew. No. Arguably, it's probably better to do that and then just repair it before the next race, but... No. No. Definitely gonna do that. Let's drop that one just so this has a bit more production on it. I mean, you're pretty good. Oh, fuel hungry? Never mind. Um, really, Windsor has the best drivers. Interesting. Windsor is pretty set up. Steinman is, though, as well. I should have been designing a new part. Specifically suspension. We'll do that just to make it, uh, so we can start building one ASAP. We're not going to be using that one at all. At all. How many races do we have left? Literally two. Oh, Surikov is feeling better. Yes, his fitness is back up to 16. I don't know what fitness affects, to be completely honest with you. But it's fucking back. We won't be fitting that part anywhere. I'm sorry. Plus 30. Yes. 30 is just better than 20 max. And then, oh my god. Plus 70 minus... Oof. Oof, that might be, sus fucking suspension might be the next one we need to get great in. Um, car feedback. Um, is average at best, or is this like the third best? Sharp, what the fuck do you think I'm doing all season? I've been improving our... Where do you think all of our money goes? It's only going to the car. Like, that's it. I 
I mean, this is a pretty good... He's expen... Oh, a million per race. Jesus Christ, dude. Ew. He's overpaid. I mean, our guys aren't even paid that much. Okay, Sharp is. But... Surikov is not. We're probably going to need to, um... Maybe negotiate our contract with Surikov at the end of the season. Um... What was the new part we built? Okay, they're both delighted about this. Good. Good. How good are you? Ew! Ew, panic prone. Oh, you're unemployed. Out of shape. A racing-themed cookbook. That's where you are in your career. Okay. Okay. All right, yeah. We do have the best drivers in the league, though. Wait. Didn't, weren't we just in third or... F oh, because Surikov was injured. That's why we were so low. Oh. So, technically, our drivers are carrying our car. Man, our engine started the season, I think, like, down here. We've doubled its ability. Oh, you can't see it at all. Hmm. Hmm. Hold on real quick while I set up something. Um, scene system. Can I toggle webcam? Ooh, show slash hide layer. Hide face. Layer. Oh, scene. What? Ah, oh, it has to be in Twitch, you fucking... Damn it. Yeah, god damn it. I don't want to figure this out right now. I don't want to figure that out. Anyway, I'll just... You can see, I think we've doubled our engine. Our car is great. It's fucking fantastic. Fucking beautiful. And hopefully next year, fuel efficiency will be even better. Um... Although I think it is as good as it gets right now. I think we chose all the best things, really. I think 46.1 million is the most we could spend. Those definitely don't need to be there. We can put you there. What else is hooked up to the car that could use it? Pretty much everything's above 90. Except for you. Um, this is at 84, actually. Damn. Actually, we could have used a bit more. We did focus a bit more this season, though, with the parts, and I think that's helped. I do think that's helped. Um, uh, Scuderia Arsini has a fantastic car setup, I'm assuming. Boa Esperanza, though, being the new team on the block, do have the worst vehicles. Um, I am going to call it a day, though. We do got I do got to get a couple of revisions done before I go to bed. And then tomorrow I got to get two shorts done for Vinny. Hell, I might get a head start on it tonight. That might be the better idea. Um... Hell, staying up all night might be the idea. That might be the fucking idea. To hopefully, um, tomorrow I might not stream time-wise. So hopefully the day after, day after I'm probably going to be working a lot on cage lock. Um, we might only have time for one race tomorrow and then the day after, hopefully, uh, or the day after, I don't know. It's going to be tough. It's going to be tough. I got a lot to do this week, um, but we will figure it out. I just want to dedicate a good portion of the end of the stream, or the stream to the end of the season. Um, since that is only two races away. We only have Brazil, and then I don't know what that flag is, I apologize. Um, Dubai, of course, Dubai. It's 10% chance of rain. Um, only 12 laps, oh, wow. Rio de Janeiro is only 13 laps. 
And we get the Ultra Softs. Nice. Fuel Burn is going to be high and Tire Wear is going to be medium. So we might need to pit twice on that race. Um, since the Fuel Burn is going to be nuts. Maybe we can just not care about our positions in the first two pits. And then, you know, we have good top speed. We have good medium speed. We have great high speed corners. Um, and those are all crucial for this track. I think Dubai, or Rio de Janeiro is a good track for us. And Dubai. Mm. But listen, I hope you guys had a great time today. I did as per usual, seeing how this is my favorite game right now. Um, again, tomorrow might not be able to stream. Hopefully I will. Uh, but, you know, follow my Twitter for updates. I'll definitely let you guys know there if I don't, if I'm not able to stream. Um, and yeah, hope you guys have a great rest of your night and a great day tomorrow. Appreciate you all.